Good morning. Cheers. All right, guys, it is the ripe old time of 10 a.m. I went to bed at 2 a.m. last night just because I was hanging out with friends. It was a Saturday night. Leave me alone. I thought, what a perfect time since I have no plans this morning to show you what my morning routine is like. And this is how I start almost every single day. I don't know why I wouldn't start it this way, but since installing a sink, which somebody tried to argue that like a sink was a waste of space in a minivan, this thing is a lifesaver. I wish I had this sooner to each their own, but I love it because I'm making coffee and cleaning up as I go. I don't have to like store all my dirty dishes in one section and then like take them out to Walmart into the handicap stall and then wash them all there. I can just do it all in one spot. Love that. I start off my mornings with a nice cup of joe and I make it with my handy dandy AeroPress, which I got for Christmas. Before this, I was using a coffee press, a French press. And let me tell you, I got so many coffee grounds in my drink all the time. Maybe I just had like a really bad coffee press. French press, why am I saying coffee press? But the AeroPress, I love so much. I'm not using anything else in my van unless I get like a cure rake or something that's like automatic so I don't have to like clean things out. I just throw out a little pod. Another thing about the AeroPress, the way that it brews coffee or the way that it like, um, I don't know, filters out coffee, just makes it so strong. Which I love, I'm an espresso drinker. It's very good, can't complain. If you're on the road and you wanna level up your coffee game because if you don't have good coffee, then you're gonna go out and buy good coffee, get the AeroPress. I don't have a need to go to a cafe now. Next thing you notice, I still have my window covers up. The unfortunate part of these guys is that they're not reflectant and I don't want them to be reflectant because if you see reflectors in the car, you know someone's sleeping in there. So I have foam on all my windows in the back. I have like this black matte fabric that I put up. The bad thing is, is that it cooks me in the car if I stay up too late. So I get punished if I don't wake up early or I get punished if I don't sleep in the shade which is today, I'm severely punished. Uh, so yeah, let me enjoy this coffee and get caught up in what's going on in the world because there's a lot of crises and it makes me feel better if I'm informed. See you soon. So now that I'm on my second cup of coffee, I feel more alive and it's time to take my pills. I have these right by my bed because if it's not like immediately accessible, I just make excuses and don't do it, so take my pills. This isn't anything crazy. It's more for like gut health because I, you know, stumbled upon that side of TikTok and it educated me about what's going on in my stomach. And after getting information like that, I couldn't just like, you know, not get these pills, which, which these creators were not trying to sell these to me. They were just like giving out information. So don't worry. It's not an MLM. I hate those things. I just have a probiotic, magnesium citrate, and B complex. And I really actually do need this one for sure, for sure, like doctor recommendation because I don't eat meat. But instead of just one type of B vitamin, I get all of them, because why not? It's so, like I can do this, I can press this coffee very easily if it's on like a normal counter, but since this counter is above me, I'm like, it's kind of, Difficult. Now, did I just spend an hour drinking two cups of coffee and being on my phone? Yes. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have a problem waking up, period. I feel really drowsy in the morning and it's to the point where it's like debilitating. Debil is that right? Debilitating? Like, I just can't do anything. Oh, I just, okay. Well, that's gonna bleed now. And when I wake up in my van, it's like five times worse because I go to bed late and I wake up late and it just, the cycle continues. And also, since I have such great window coverings, it also blocks out the sun kind of completely. Now, obviously I did take down my front curtain. I kind of moved this a little bit down. Oh, not that much down. There's just people over there. So I can have some natural lighting for this video. But like in the morning, I have to wake up with my alarm or game over. It'll be like 1 p.m. before I naturally have all this energy to get up. So if you look at the layout of my van, I'm literally like, all I did was a sit up. I did, it did this. I was like, <gasps> jink, 
Bam, I'm in my kitchen already. Having my kitchen right over my bed really helps me start the day off because I have no excuses. Everything is right in front of me. I strategic, strategic, I strategically placed all my coffee needs right in front of me so I don't have to go digging for it. Once you know yourself to a certain extent of like what you need help with and what you know doesn't come naturally, just put those things out in front of you and not in a stored away to be like dug for you're gonna have a much easier time. I got so mad last time I was on the road because I didn't have any forks. So I just like angrily bought three packs of forks from the Dollar Tree. And now I don't have any freaking spoons. So just the balance of life continues to be off kilter. Now it's time for the next part of my morning routine. I go through these three books. Don't worry, it's like a page each. I have my gratitude journal, which I just write three things a day that I'm grateful for just to like start off on the right foot. Then I have this Lavender Artist of Life. I'm pretty sure I talked about this in another video, but I go through it every morning just to do the habit tracking portion. Hopefully you can read this, but I have like skincare in the morning, which I have not been doing. And I will not do that today because the day is already half gone. <laughs> morning routine, which is what I'm doing right now. Walk, sing, and all this other stuff, which I need to do. I got this from the Artist Way workbook. And in the original workbook, you are supposed to write three pages a day, just like stream of consciousness, whatever. You're not supposed to judge it, just like write three pages. I only do one page a day. And if I feel like it, I'll do more, but like, it's been one page since the beginning of this year. So literally like a novel and it feels good. Uh, some things in your brain, you just need to like get out first thing in the morning for me, write a page what I'm thinking, what I want to do, what I want to manifest or whatever the kids are doing nowadays. And that's it for my book portion of the morning routine. Now that I'm done with my morning routine, I'm going to take down these window coverings, change into something more suitable and go to a gas station. In context, you guys ask me, where do I go to the bathroom? If I don't have a toilet in my car, I go to a gas station or any public thing. And because I had two cups of coffee, I really need to go. So let's go. Made it back safely in my van. All is taken care of. Um, I didn't get the chance to change out of my pajamas because it was urgent. Now I'm going to take time to clean the back of my van. As soon as I got done recording that last bit, I took off my window covers in a flurry, obviously. Jumped to the front seat and took off. Um, luckily there was a gas station two minutes away. And now before I go to a cafe to get some delicious Wi-Fi, I have to uh, organize my van or else I would be very, um, what's the word? Uh, stressed when I come back into it. And not to mention my front seat, which still has my breakfast remains, I caved. I was gonna make breakfast, but when a breakfast burrito is $3.99 at Wawa, I'm gonna get it. Also, I don't really know what's going on with my hair because I've been washing it regularly, okay? But it still manages to be greasy. Come on, be on my side. I can't fight against my own hair. I'm gonna lose. Oh, all right. And you know the morning is done when I put on the bed tarp. I said this before and I'll say it again. This has been a lifesaver since half of the back of my van is my bed. Um, I'm gonna get crumbs on it throughout the day. I'm gonna get dirt on it if I just come from the outside. So having this on my bed sheet, lifesaver. I'm not gonna sleep with all that grime and dirt. Plus it just looks really pretty. I really like this. And then I got this extra like old timey blanket. It literally says grandmas make every day a little sweeter. And I agree, even though all mine are dead. Rip in peace my grandmas. But you know what? At the end of the day, I am my own grandma. So grandmas do make the day a little sweeter. I just kind of throw that around and whatever I feel like just for a little bit more, I don't know, vibe texture. I shove my blanket and my pillows to the front of the bed. Sometimes I cover it with the tarp, sometimes not like today. The only time I cover my pillows and blankets is if I need to be in super stealth mode. So that way when people look into my van, they're not going to see two immediate pillows and blankets. They're just going to see a nice fabric thing. I mean, if you're looking in, you're going to see a whole lot of other stuff. I know. But seeing a pillow and blanket is going to tip someone off real fast. There's someone sleeping in there. Right now I'm in St. Petersburg, Florida, where there's a lot a lot of van lifers. So I don't really care if people know I'm a van lifer here. And if I'm in an area that you can't even hint that you're a van lifer, I cover all my windows. Like when I go to Chicago or New York, all my windows are covered. I don't want to take any risks. Before I go outside, I got to get changed. Oh. How does it look? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> is this my little uniform? Because literally, I brought three skirts and three shirts, and the rest are dresses I've already worn. So I gotta go to the laundry man, I guess, tomorrow. My day is literally almost half over. It's like 1 p.m. And now it's time to do makeup to make it look like I didn't spend four hours of my morning in my van. Let's do this. Really all I do is my under eyes, this area because it's been like inflamed, and then I blend it in for the face portion anyways. I look at my mirror for this. Does anybody else just have like strangely purple under eye bags like nothing that you do works it's just always purple even if you get enough sleep for like three months purple why so now that we got those goobers covered up time to add a little blush because i am awake and i am perky and i'm awake and i'm perky i'm perky and i'm awake i'm awake i'm perky it's my mantra now i gotta blend that out so much. I know I could get a bigger brush for this, but I literally use what my mom gets from her Ipsy glam bag. Like whatever she doesn't want is mine. Price of free has ruined me. Then a little mascara and lips and that's basically it. And sometimes I just do mascara for the eyes, no eyeshadow. But just today I feel like for my sake, I need to cover up myself a little bit more because I am so tired. And I just need to see what I look like in an actual mirror because why this video is great quality. It doesn't always tell the truth. And before I do get up to the front, I'm gonna put in all the stuff I need for the cafe. Headphones and laptop, so I don't have to come back here and get it. And that's basically it. I'll bring my book too, that'll be fun. Ta -da, I got my floor cleaned. I still have a little uh, shove shove situation over there. This is a definite shove situation. But like I said, I am really looking forward to turning this into a cabinet so it can be concealed and not look like that <laughs> and over here i'm gonna go ahead and dump this and put this down so i love this little electronic kettle it just folds down and i put it right there now given this area right here where the pool noodle is is still a little bit uh crazy to look at so is that section on my shelf we're not gonna talk about it essentially that's what i do every single morning pretty routinely normally i do the journaling in the beginning of the day and then i get on my phone but if i wake up late in the day and I'm like stressed because I know someone is either depending on me today or um, I'm waiting for someone to reach out to me. I will open my phone and <laughs> waste away 30 minutes and I need that to stop. I'm gonna go in this cafe, get some work done, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.